everybody, Aquagear here, and welcome back to another episode of Aqua's Adventure. Today we are back on the single player world, and we are going to do more work on the house. But we are also going to be doing a couple other things. The stuff on my plan is I want to breed some more sheep because I want to get started getting some black wool. And that black wool will be for... I want to put a road down this middle right here, like kind of like a modern road with white stripes, yellow stripes, whatever. Just a road down here, and then I want to put in kind of a driveway in front of my house. But, um, that also means moving these chests. And for that, I have to get my storage room done. So, yeah. We are going to be doing a couple things today. Hopefully I get to all of them. Probably not, but we always have next episode. So, first things first, we have to finish off the back room all the way in the back of the house. So guys, once you guys see me again, we will be working on the back part. Alright everybody, so let's grab the materials we need. So for the back, we are going to need a lot of spruce wood. So I am just going to grab all of it with me because I know we're going to need a ton of that. We're also going to need a lot of spruce. So I don't know how much spruce I have in these other chests. Oh man, I was hoping for a little bit more, but oh well. And then we're also going to need some slabs, I think. Where? Yep, right here. We're going to need a lot of these slabs. Also, let's grab some windows. I think we'll grab the window panes with it. Let's grab this. Let's grab everything that we will potentially use. Let's grab these slabs also. I'm trying to think. So that's what it would look like. I wish I had more oak. Real quick, guys. I just want to <laughs> kind of show you the wood farm in action. So... Yes, I do use this wood farm. It actually comes in handy quite a lot. You just do this, and you get all the wood. And then after you're done, you just pick up all the saplings. One thing that does bother me sometimes is, um, like, you can get stuck in these little corners right here. But I guess that's the least of the worries. It's not that big of a deal. As long as it's here, it's here. And of course, I'm not going to spend too much here. I just wanted to show you guys that it actually does work. It's a pretty good tree farm. I mean, of course, it's not automatic or anything, but... Yeah, <laughs> it's actually really good for um, just flat out getting wood. Now, let me get some of the saplings back. Let's just do this fast so we can get back to work. Hurry up, saplings. Come so I can replace you. Hurry up. Okay, I have two. I think I need four. Yeah, I think I need four. Uh, come on. So I have three. One. Get out of my way. Two. There we go. Move, people. Okay, there we go. So, we have planted back. One more. We need one more. Come on, hurry up and give it to me so I can start working on the project. But, yeah. I actually love this tree farm. I th honestly, I think it looks pretty cool, too. No, not to lie. I, I, I like how I built it a lot. It might seem a little bit plain to a lot of you guys, but... I've actually never built a tree farm before. Like, okay, come on. Are you serious? Thank you. That took only a million years. So yeah, this is actually one of the first tree farms I've ever built. I've built one other one, but eh, it wasn't super duper. So, okay, so um, I said so like seven times right there. Let's kind of figure out the pattern. So you need oak, spruce, slabs, and wood. Okay, uh, I'm guessing that's pretty easy to remember. Okay, so we need oak on all the edges. Let's see how high we're going to go. We're just going to go as high as the other one. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we got to do it for each one. One. Oh, darn. I wasn't supposed to go there. One, two, three. And, of course, I will do most of the building off camera. One, two, three. Because I don't want to bore you guys with it. And then we will decide where the windows will go to. One, two, three. And the windows are just like that. Okay. So where should we put windows? I'll put one window, one, two, three, and then three from this one. So let's just run to the other side, make a symmetrical one, two, three, and then two windows like that. And guys, also before I do forget, is I want to change up some of the um, things over here. So this is not going to be our storage anymore. It's because this is going to be our storage. This is going to be our storage room. Storage room. Okay, so this is going to be our new official storage room. I've decided that because I want a lot of storage. And honestly, that room 
would have not been big enough. This is a small room. And of course, I'll decide what to do with that room in a little bit. But for now, let's just kind of finish off this building. I haven't decided what the floor should be. I'm thinking maybe spruce wood, just like the rest of the house. But that's not my final decision. So we'll have to wait for that. But really, what we have to do now, well, what I have to do now is put spruce wood all along there. And, of course, do this with all the windows. Put slabs on top. And it is, well, at least the wall will be done. So let me just put these last couple oak pieces on. And I will be going off camera to finish the rest of the room. Welcome back, everybody, and I have finished mostly the roof. I just have one part left, which I will do on camera. It's just the spruce wood on top, and there's a couple things I've actually, like, <laughs> just realized about the house that I do need to fix, which you guys are probably screaming at your screen for me to fix, because it's actually a really kind of a <laughs> really stupid mistake, but it's a really easy fix, so I do not mind, except it will take a little bit away from the house, but I really have no choice because um, <laughs> it's totally pointless. And again, you guys don't know what I'm talking about yet. I will show you after I get this done, which will be in exactly 5.7 seconds. Bam, told you. Anyway, um, if we go to these other rooms over here, you'll notice that there are windows right here. And uh, <laughs> the other room kind of blocks it so there's no point to have windows right there at all so yep I am removing these because there's no point of them being there so I'll just kind of have to replace them like that and it does take a little bit away from the rooms because there's only one window now but it's kind of a thing that's necessary I'm not gonna leave um, just a window for no apparent reason that'd just be not smart let's just say that so now that that's fixed we can get on to finishing this room and this room, I'm probably going to make um, the floor out of spruce again, just like all the other places. So, yeah, again, I'm not going to do it on camera because it'll take a lot of time. And you know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to maybe try to do a time lapse. But again, guys, the problem with my uh, software is that, um, or it might be even my computer, but I honestly don't think it's my computer, is that if I make it go too fast, it'll... Um, It'll skip. It, it, it looks kind of like a slideshow. So if it works, it will. If it don't, it won't. And by the way, guys, it's almost 100% sure it won't. But I'm still going to try. So yeah, I'll see you guys when the floor is cleared out and done. Welcome back, everybody, and yeah, that time lapse was, I guess, alright. If, um, honestly, I haven't seen it yet, um, like the actual time lapse or how laggy it is. On your computer screen, it might be really laggy, I'm not sure, but it's my first time lapse, so, however it went, it's fine. If it, you know, when I upload this to actually YouTube, if it doesn't look good, I won't do another one. If it does look good, I will do another one. 
it all kind of depends. So we'll see how this one goes. If it's laggy, I'm sorry. It was only one minute and like 40 seconds, so I guess it wasn't too long. But importantly, we got the floor done. So it's all made out of spruce, removed all the dirt, and yeah, I got a couple stacks of dirt, which I guess I'll be able to use later. And one thing I want to start doing immediately is getting some chests around here. So let me just break up this spruce and let's start making some chests for our storage room. And I don't know if I'll make 64. Should I make 64? I mean, for now, I'll just break it like this. But I know I'm going to need a lot of chests. Darn it. Yep, we'll have exactly 48. And that's just fine with me. And then I will need some trap chests. But for now, I guess we'll just kind of put them over here. And I will put... Uh, maybe I should make the trap chests right now. Um, yeah, let's go make some trap chests. Hopefully I remember how to do it. I think I need sticks and iron. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't exactly remember. So I'm pretty sure I need something like this. If I do this totally wrong, no. Yeah, it's something like that. Exactly. So let's make a couple more sticks. Remove that iron. Okay, do this. Okay, yeah. 22? I think that's exactly half, too. So that's perfect. Uh, is it the other way around? Darn it. Uh, did I totally do this wrong? Don't you need that? Oh, well, I guess it needs to be on the side. That's funny. I never knew uh, it actually needed to be on the side. And guys, one thing I do want to do in, in the near future is build a slime farm. Because since with the 1.8 update... I, I, <laughs> hopefully I'm not saying this wrong um, Slime blocks will come out And I do want to do stuff with slime blocks Like definitely I love slime blocks So hopefully we'll get prepared for that And then Of course we'll be adding more chests As time goes on But for now I'll just put in what I can And let's just finish these off And then we'll kind of migrate All the items from the other place Over here Okay, so we'll need two more chests and then fill those two. And then this little part will be done. And I want to put chests over there and along the entire place too. And real quick, uh, no, I'm not going to move that right now. Everything else should stay. For now, I just wanted to put the chests in. So let's move out. And I should move these chests, but it's going to take so long. And I honestly don't feel like doing it on camera again. So I know there's a lot of cuts this episode. Guys, I'm sorry. But... That's kind of a good thing. We're getting a lot of progress done. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of these over. And then I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome back, everybody. And I have actually done a lot of progress. Um, real quick, I want to do a couple things. As you can see, if we go in the front yard, all the chests are gone and all the items are stored. But I have done a lot more than that. I've been kind of gathering the leather and chests, and boom. That progress, though. So I added these chests all the way on the side sides. I added the item frames and in each one specific item. So in here, it's going to go to the redstone and the redstone items. Over here is going to go our tools, like our shears, buckets, etc. Here's Here are going to go our special items, like saddles, um, nether stars, whatever. Here's going to be our mob drops. Flowers up here is going to be kind of our plants. This is going to be our just random items, slime balls, blaze rods, etc. Food, nether things. Um, these are going to be our ores, and these are going to be our uncooked ores and blocks. This is, gonna, this is gonna, just going to be coal, wood, and then like already planks, all dirt, slabs and stairs, all kinds of glass, uh, cobble, stone, and non cooked stone, wool kind of our building like furnaces decoration type things X and then this is like miscellaneous uh, blocks and also I have some over here but I still have to add uh, the item frames in and yeah my tools are gonna go by my bed so those uh, that's the only exception my tools are gonna stay like in my main room and guys I want to do something a little bit special this flower right here has actually been here for um, a very long time. Honestly, I think it was a couple episodes ago, but I don't know. I've kind of grown fond of seeing it right next to my bed. So let's take this one flower, and I'm going to name it, but I don't have the experience right now, so I'll name it later. But 
I'm gonna kind of make it out of. I'm gonna kind of give it a monument. But the only problem is, at this moment, I don't have a place where to put it. But once we do find a place, we will put it somewhere. But for now, let's just pick a random room, this room, and just put it down. And let's kind of like make a little thing around it. This will be our special flower. And I'll rename it so we won't ever lose it. But again, for now, we'll just keep it here. Because I have no other place to put it. Bam, like that. One more time around. Like a so. Like a, come on. Like a so. And like that. Bam. So there's our flower. It's a special flower. We will put it somewhere else once we got more time. And then I moved a couple things inside. And of course, all this will be organized later. But... Alice's chest room is done for today. And guys, for the rest of this episode, we won't really be doing anything. We'll just be talking about what my plan is. Because I uh, I just feel like talking and telling you guys what my plan is. So, what I imagine at this moment for next episode is... Um, I'm going to be breeding those animals for the next couple episodes a lot. Because I need to get a lot of leather for item frames. Also, I need a lot of wool because I want to make a wool road through all the way here, all the way to the Luau, and make it kind of go past down there, and then it'll come in through here, have a little driveway over here, so I want to make, like, one big main road, maybe put a couple of synthetic cars on there, you know, Corrales-style cars, and maybe do some of that stuff, which will look awesome, and then, um, yeah, also, later on, I do want to build um, a slime farm, because with slime blocks coming in, ooh, I just can't resist i need to get some of those slime balls but the only problem is i need uh i need to figure out a way how to get slime chunks and i have no idea what like how to do that so one thing if you if and you who's still watching up to this point is do you if you is there like a program i need to find slime chunks if you know that program uh tell me in the comments like maybe link it so I can download it, because I have no idea how to figure it out at this point. I mean, maybe I'll just, by luck, somehow just see a slime spawning somewhere and maybe find out. But I don't think that's very likely. So, if you could please link it in the comments, I would appreciate that. If no one knows, well, I <laughs> I have arms, I have a brain, I'll just look, I'll just Google it. How do I find slime chunks? But if you can, yeah, put it in the comments. I really need to get some shears and come out here because, again, I need a lot of wool, but I don't feel like killing them. Maybe maybe I should breed them. Just make, like, a wild sheep farm out here, breeding the sheep. I might do that <laughs> off camera. But, guys, honestly, I had a lot of fun with this episode. In my opinion, we did a lot of progress. I mean, we finished up that room mostly, except we just need a couple more chests. So, guys... I think this will be the end of the episode. So, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.